Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the flyback CCM. That means flyback, how flyback converter works in a continuous conduction mode, right? So we will also understand what, what are the advantages of flyback CCM over flyback DCM. If I say DCM, it's a discontinuous conduction mode. Okay. So, so you can see here, continuous current is always flowing in the transformer during each switching cycle. Okay, so in the in the in the CCM mode of flyback topology, a continuous current is always flowing in the transformer during during each switching cycle. What does it mean? It means that the transformer uh, the transformer doesn't completely demagnetize it has left some residual energy on it okay so when the mosfet is turned on the primary current ramps up but it doesn't start from zero ohms like as in dcm or discontinuous mode so you can see in the in the waveform here so this is the on time t on time of mosfet and you can see this drain to source voltage, the secondary voltage, the secondary current of transformer, this is primary current of the transformer. And what happens is when the MOSFET is turned on, is uh, this, this turned on time is highlighted in the red. You can see, you can see here. So when the MOSFET is turned on, you can see the pri transformer primary current ramps up but but you can see it has it 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 has a step response and it ramps up with not with the zero level that means it doesn't start from here to ramp up and go like here okay okay like like it was in the dcm mode okay so primary current ramps up but it doesn't start from the zero so this is the this is the main advantages main advantage of a CCM mode continuous conduction mode okay so in the CCM the current ramps from from an offset that is due to residual energy that is continuously maintained in the transformer okay so you can see why why current doesn't start from the zero amps it start from somewhere with the, the with the offset current and this is because there is a, some residual residual energy which is already stored in the transformer and transformer due to the inductance value transformer maintain the maintain the that residual energy during during its switching cycle okay whether it is on whether it is off so so this is the on how how uh, flyback converter works when the MOSFET is turned on in the continuous conduction mode. Okay. So, so when the MOSFET, when the MOSFET is turned off, the energy is transferred across the secondary and the transformer demagnetize, resulting the secondary side current ramping down, but it doesn't ramp all the way to zero amps because of residual energy is maintained in a transformer. The the next switching cycle begins before the current is completely depleted okay so you can see this is the magnet demagnetized period so you can see highlighted in the red and during this time the transformer secondary current ramps down but it doesn't ramps down to the zero amps you can see because of because of it transformer maintains some residual energy on it to start the next switching cycle okay the current waveform on both primary and secondary is trapezoidal in shape this is sometimes referred to as a ramp or step you can see this is in the form of ramp or step you can also see in the secondary it's form of uh, ramp or step right all right so let us go ahead note that there is a no dead time in ccm so we have seen in the last video in the dcm mode we have a dead time or quasi resonant time but it is not there in the ccm current is always being conducted somewhere in the transformer but also note that the despite of continuously conducting the current the mosfet and diode do not conduct at the same time hope guys you have 
you have understood this line despite of transformer is maintaining some residual energy on it despite of that the mosfet and the diode do not conduct at the same time as the load demands decreases the store of residual energy the step portion of the waveform decreases okay the ccm flyback transformer are designed based on the ripple current or the ramp portion of the waveform which is considerably less than the ripple seen in the dcm flyback so you can see here data delta il marked in red so transformer the design of flyback continuous conduction mode transformer is based on based on this ripple current or delta i or this the portion of this this step waveform right so so the controllers which was specifically designed for valley switching will not operate in the ccm as there is a no resonant ring available on the transformer is not allowed to fully demagnetize right so let us now understand what are the advantages and disadvantages of flyback ccm okay so continuous conduction mode small ripple and rms current which leads in lower capacitor losses right these lower currents also help in lower conduction and turn off losses when compared to the dcm flyback lower peak current means smaller filter and emi component the presence of a right half plane zero in the power stage of the transfer function this limits the bandwidth of the control loop and will impact the converter dynamic response and ccm flyback requires a large inductance which may require a larger magnetic component at the because of because of the larger inductance maybe your transformer size will increase and due to your trans since your transformer size is increasing you have to pay more so in indirect way your cost will also increase 